Hey Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Check out your other placements for additional messages. As this is a general reading, messages may or may not apply. So just take what does and leave what doesn't for the next person. I could be picking up on somebody around you or somebody you may be dealing with. So you may have to swap the rules if that's the case. And if this reading doesn't resonate right away, it can be something that happens otherwise. So you can keep it in your back pocket or come back at a later date. If you don't like swearing, I suggest that you fuck off. I swear I fucked on over here, so if that's not your cup of tea, then I suggest that you click the fuck off, watch somebody else, no hard feelings. And uh, with that being said, sit back, relax, let's see what messages need to come through for the upcoming week, what you can expect, look into your expected timelines, get some advice, etc., etc. Alright? So, check out your other placements for additional messages. I don't know. Did I say that? I probably did. Whatever. Just a reminder, I guess, if you forgot. <laughs> so, what messages do we have for Taurus, Summer Rising, and Venus? Messages for Taurus, please. Summer Rising. Okay, I guess the deck's ready, so we're gonna go. Messages for Taurus, please. Summer Rising and Venus. Oh, sheesh. Messages for Taurus for the next seven days. Okay, damn. We got two cards coming out. Okay. We have the Prince of Cups in reverse. We have the Six of Cups, the Fool, and Nine of Swords in reverse. Okay, what is going on here? So, I'm seeing that you may be taking... Hold on. You're fearing... I mean, fuck. You're really... You're fearing. You're releasing some type of fear over here. That just rhymed. Okay. You're releasing some type of fear. And I see that you may be contemplating take a, taking a leap of faith. Maybe with somebody, maybe with somebody new. I think I did see the, okay, no, never mind. I did see the two cups at the bottom of the deck a couple times, so maybe this is about a relationship. Maybe it's something else, but there are, half of the spread is about cups, right? Only thing I'm not loving is this Prince of Cups in reverse. Somebody who's very charming, somebody who um, likes to have other options and keep you on the back burner. There could be somebody trying to kind of play games with you, play with your feelings, you know? Maybe giving you mixed signals. Are they... For real? Are they just playing? Do they, like, do they like me? Do they not? Like, I don't know if they take me seriously type energy. This is definitely somebody you feel comfortable around. Somebody that brings some childness energy to the table. Like, very lighthearted, very warm. Very Maybe this is somebody from your childhood or somebody that, this, you know, you click well with. But there is some type of fear here. Maybe you're fearful that this person is just stringing you along playing games. But I see that you are releasing yourself from this type of fear. Maybe this is just an illusion, right? With the Prince of Cups in reverse. Maybe that's what you think is going on. But maybe that's not the case, right? We'll see when we clarify, go a little bit deeper into what exactly is going on here. Um, you're contemplating this new leap of faith. Okay. Could be a little bit hesitant, though. Or you were a little bit hesitant to take this leap of faith. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit have a swords in reverse and the queen of wands it's like part of you kind of wants to stay in your comfort zone and just kind of be where you already are and just stay comfortable with whatever you've been doing instead of taking this leap of faith because you know the future is unknown you don't know what's yet to come you don't know what to expect from this and so you could be finding yourself doing a little bit of isolation a little bit of thinking contemplation you know do i want to take this leap of faith am i ready to take this leap of faith Am I sure? Like, is there something else I want to do? Like, and so you're kind of contemplating, do I just want to stay where I'm at? Do I want to move forward? I definitely feel like you are leaving something that happened in your past. Like, you're leaving something behind. You're walking away from possibly deception or something that could have happened that left you feeling some type of way, right? You may also could be receiving some type of an apology. You have 5-5 five, five coming out. So there are major changes that are happening in your life over here and you're looking at this as a positive opportunity for your own growth and expansion in your whole literally journey right but I definitely feel like you're doing quite a bit of contemplation that they need to put that card away doing a lot of contemplation on taking this leap of faith so let's get clarifying get some insight figure out what's going on here and look into what exactly you're taking this leap of faith in, whether this is a relationship, friendship, something, right? Tell me the Prince of Cups in reverse. Tell me the Prince of Cups in reverse, please. Tell me the Prince of Cups in reverse for Taurus. Someone rising Venus for the next seven days. 
Why is the Prince of Cups in reverse? Prince of Cups in reverse, please. King of Wands. Oh, didn't mean to flip that. And the Three of Swords. See, there's this contemplation over here. And this is what's been happening. This is what's been coming out. You're contemplating. Look at him. He's really thinking. He has his hand on his face. He's like, do I do this? I don't know. Should I stay in my comfort zone? Should I push myself out of my comfort zone and take a leap of faith into the unknown? And you're, I think you're very fearful of getting your heart broken or, you know, fearful of the potential heartbreak that this may end up leading towards. But that's life. Like, we all go through it. You can't really prevent it. You just kind of surrender to it, right? There's this contemplation about... Do I really want to get her hurt again? It's kind of what I'm hearing. Let me get one more. Prince of Cups in reverse. Kind of the Prince of Cups in reverse, please. Aries. A Aries, sorry. Uh, Taurus. Could be dealing with Aries. Not Taurus. Prince of Cups in reverse. Tower. And the Seven of Pentacles. See, so much contemplation in this reading. Oh my god, you guys are really overthinking. See, but that's what the Nine of Swords was about. Overthinking, right? It's in reverse. So it's like, at first, you were very complex. Can I speak? <laughs> um, contemplating on it. Do I want to take this leap of faith? I'm scared of getting hurt. I need. Am I ready for this? Do I want to stay in my comfort zone? Really overthinking to the point of like, oh, I don't know what to do. Almost kind of stunting yourself, stunting your growth, and <clears throat> probably having to spend alone time to get your thoughts together. And then there's this tower moment that happens. Unexpected tower moment a little shake up not all tower moments are bad okay so this could have been something positive right we'll look i kind of want to look into this let me look into this Turn about this tower oh seven of swords in reverse whoa queen of wands okay so we have a pair over here probably the tower probably the tower please for taurus someone rising venus nine of wands in reverse So you were contemplating, right? And then there's this tower moment. Are you choosing to stay in your comfort zone? Or what is going on here? Prince of Swords at the bottom of the deck, strength. Pushing yourself out of your comfort What is going on here? So we have the Queen of Wands. So we have a pair here. But then the, uh, the reason why I'm like, what the fuck's going on here is because we have the Seven of Swords in the universe and the Nine of Wands in the universe. It's like, oh, it's like if there's any energy like this, any deceptiveness energy, I'm pulling the fuck away, I'm not investing my time, I'm gonna basically take back any energy I put into this, I'm fucking taking it back, any red flags, I'm out, <laughs> basically what I'm seeing here, um, and you could be dealing with an Aries or another fire sign here, but we do have this pair, so, alright, look at this, six of cups, and then we have the pair, so, looks like a little match made, hmm, so, I mean, Maybe this is somebody you've already dealt with in the past. Because the Seven of Swords in reverse is that maybe you've already given up on a person that could have been connected to you. Maybe you're choosing to release yourself from this person and get over this pain. Or you're trying to figure out and contemplate how you want to get over this person who could have strung you along. And whatever this tower moment is, maybe you're coming, to go, coming together with somebody new after, you know, dealing with this type of energy. This Seven of Swords, deceptive, betrayal, sneaky, you know, likes to take, steal shit from you. And you obviously have given up on the situation with the Nine of Wands and a Burst. You no longer invest your energy into this. And so, it's like, once you do that, there could be potential new person coming towards you. And it's unexpected, but it's like a good shakeup. Hmm. So, I guess that's what's meant to come out nothing else can come out so we already spent a lot of time clarifying so let's move to the next card okay so hopefully it gave you some type of answer six of cups please for taurus time of the six of cups for taurus summon rising and venus time of the six of cups for taurus for the next week There's that nine of wands again. Very defensive energy too. To this connection or to a connection. 
maybe you're fearful of somebody new coming in and like you're fearful that they may be like the past person you've dealt with or you're worried that it may hold on six of cups means for Taurus I think you're just really worried about getting fucked over again because you've been fucked over before and you don't want the same thing to happen so maybe that's why you're hesitant because you don't want to get heartbroken again and you're like if this person does anything like this past person I dealt with I'm fucking snip snip cutting you out and so there's like this very defensive energy like towards this soul type connection like there's somebody new come towards you or there's some type of pair that's being there's that's shown up in this reading and it's just like you almost maybe think it's too good to be true or that there's something to take into consideration or some I don't know. Six, uh, six of cups please for Taurus. Princess of Wands in reverse. Oh yeah, see you're worried somebody's gonna play you. Devil in reverse, you're worried somebody's gonna try and play you. And you've already tried to release yourself from people who have like been like this. Toxic, codependent, too reliant, um, you know just unhealthy for you m mentally emotionally whatever this was right and you don't want to invest yourself in a situation like this and you're very scared that whatever this new beginning is or whatever this new connection is whether you you're in it right now or you may head into a new connection pretty recent or pretty soon you're worried that it may be the same that you've gone through in the past and so you may even be contemplating rejecting this opportunity with the four cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck ten of wands dropping an option. Anything else for this? Oh wow, sheet. Alchemist in the reverse. You're really con. You're really contemplating. You're like, I'm not really sure if this is what I want. And maybe to be too good to be true. Maybe this isn't. You're really like considering dropping this and like. But I think you're overthinking it, and maybe you catch on to that, and you're like, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to take a leap of faith, because we had the Fool coming out. We'll look into the Fool and see what exactly you're taking a leap of faith on, but that's kind of what I'm seeing in this reading. You're very hesitant to this beginning, or this opportunity, because you're worried it's going to be something from your past, and you don't want to get fucked over again, or fall through the same shit, but the thing is, like, give, I would say, give it a shot, if it's something new, and, like, you're, it's really just your thoughts getting in the way, take this leap of faith. Because it really may not be what you expect it to be. And because you've already gone through situations like this in your past. And you're so like worried that it's going to be the same. You've already gone through it. You already know the signs. You already know what to look out for. So if there is any trickery bullshit. You would catch on to it. And you would leave it before it even gets to that point. That's the thing. Like you've already gone through that. You've already learned those lessons. And experienced it before. So even though you're fearful of the same things happening. Like. The thing is, you wouldn't get played like how you got played before. Because you've already gone through it. You would know what it looks like. And you would leave it before it even happens, right? So that could be... <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully it makes sense. So therefore, you're going to be releasing yourself from this overthinking, contemplation. Like, fuck it. I'm going to just give it a shot. Take this leap of faith. If it turns to shit, I'm going to leave before it even hits the fan, you know? Type energy. So that's kind of what I'm seeing here. But we'll see as we clarify further on. Tell me about Nine of Swords. I'm... Yeah. Tell me about Nine of Swords in the universe. I don't even know, man. Tell me about Nine of Swords in reverse for... Okay, I heard Capricorn. That's weird. <laughs> Maybe you're dealing with the Capricorn. Tell me about the Six of Swords in reverse for Taurus. Oof. Hierophant at the bottom of the deck, Taurus energy coming through. So, clarifying the Nine of Swords in reverse, we have the Five of Wands. So, very conflicted. You're very caught up in your thoughts, but it's time to release that. It's time to just get that peace of mind, get that clarity. And you can't think straight when your mind is going all over the place, fucking chaotic, right? It's time for you to drop whatever this shit is. Drop the burdens. Drop these overthinking thoughts. I know, easier said than done. But you need to really take control, take charge. What you want, what you will put up with, especially even with yourself. What are you going to put up with yourself? Are you going to put up this fearful type thinking habit? Or do you want to make a change and become positive? And like, you know, because it's up to you. Because this is what's going on here. You're very conflicted. You don't know what to believe. You don't, you need to just trust within yourself. Trust yourself. 
trust your intuition, trust your own judgment, your own discernment, and everything else will be fine. You just got to believe in yourself. Don't worry about the, oh, what if they do me wrong? Oh, what if this? What if that? Don't worry about that. What you got to worry about is yourself. Do you trust yourself? Yes. Okay, cool. So, if you get involved in a situation like this, you trust yourself that you have your intuition and you know how to handle it because you've had the experience. You're wise. With the higher fan at the bottom of the deck, you're wise. You've experienced this before. You know how to handle it. It's nothing you can't handle, is what they're saying. But we have the Ace of Cups in reverse, so... <sighs> Ace of Cups in reverse, please. Or see, you're stressing the fuck out. <laughs> you're stressing the fuck out. Oh my god, that <laughs> we have the world. It's time to close out this cycle of overthinking, overanalyzing, freaking the fuck out, assuming everybody's out to get you and harm you and cause pain in your life. Not everybody's like that. It's time to change that. Oh, what is this? Yeah, strength coming out. It's time to have that strength to be strong, push yourself out of those fears, you will be okay, you will get through whatever comes your way, you're a strong, bah, 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 I can't you're a strong boss ass bitch, you can get through whatever comes your way, whatever the universe throws in your way, in your path, you will get past this, you're strong, you've gone through situations like this before, you've already gone through shit, that doesn't mean that, oh, like, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, y'all, I don't even know, <laughs> it's a lot. Hopefully you get what I'm saying. I'm sorry. I, I feel like all over the place, but there's like a lot of energy. I'm kind of like almost getting a headache too. And just like, this wasn't happening before. I'm just like, hey, got me fucked up. But you need to face your fears. Stay strong. Wrap up this cycle. Time to drop these burdens. Um, Obviously up to you if you want to accept or decline this because Ace of Cups is in reverse. So it's almost like you're trying to you're very conflicted if you want to accept or decline this offer. Some of you may just turn it down. Some of you may take a leap of faith, but it's up to you on what you want. This makes you happy. Um, some of you may be just missing out on this opportunity. And hey, it's just an opportunity. There's going to be multiple opportunities that come to you. So this isn't going to be the only thing that comes towards you. And oh, well, if I turn this offer down, then I guess there's no love for me. Like you may end up just choosing to turn this down because it's too much for you right now. And maybe you just need to focus on yourself and work on yourself so that you can close this cycle. Oh, close this cycle. I dropped the card, but I'm going to have to go get that. Yes, yeah, I'm going to have to pause for a second. Okay, so we're going to clarify the fool and see what exactly you're taking a leap of faith into, okay? Because it's like, once you close out this cycle, you're going to be jumping into something new. And then we have the wheel at the bottom of the deck. So major changes are coming. You may be dealing with an Aries. Did I say Capricorn? Um, got some fire. We have some Scorpio up here. Sagittarius. Leo. Again, doesn't have to be, though. Okay, I moved these cards. Sorry. Tell me about the fool. What is Taurus taking a leap of faith on? Tell me about the fool, please, for air. So, yeah, you could be dealing with an Aries, sorry. Tell me about the fool for Taurus. Someone rising in Venus. Tell me about the fool for Taurus, please. Tell me about the fool for Taurus. Oh, sheesh. We have the Seven of Cups. Wanted to show up. And the Moon in Reverse. You got a lot of different options coming towards you. But anyway, put those back. Tell me the fool for Taurus, Summon Rising Venus, the next seven days. Tell me the fool. Tell me the fool for Taurus. Tell me the fool for Taurus. Oof. We have the King of Swords, the Sun, and Five of Pentacles. So again, more Leo energy coming through. Whatever you are taking a leap of faith on, it will bring a lot of happiness into your life, a lot of optimism into your life. You'll be just fine. Um, I definitely wouldn't be surprised if you are leaving certain people out in the cold or rejecting people. Maybe this is you feeling isolated or not good enough or like somebody here feels not good enough or like that they don't deserve love or that, you know, this was too good to be true. I don't deserve you type energy. So... That's a very unhealthy way to look about life, so I would suggest you try and snap out of that if that's you. Maybe this is a person you could be rejecting, right? You may have your guard up and have a hard time, so you reject this person, or cut them out, or come off very sharp, very cold. Whew. I think you just need to take things very lighthearted and just kind of go with the flow. 
you don't need to get in a commitment if you're not ready. This is, I guess, for whoever this is for, it's kind of looking like as if you may just end up rejecting whatever this was. We did have the Ace of Cups in reverse, right? And there aren't very any, besides, yeah, we don't really have many cups in this reading. So I think you may just be choosing to focus on yourself. Obviously, you can change the outcome of these readings. Nothing set in stone. You may choose to um, accept, right? You may be like, oh, fuck yeah, right? So obviously, depends on what you want to do with this opportunity. You can accept, you can decline. But either way, you're headed towards your happiness by your own or with a person by your side. You're happy to, you're, <laughs> you're taking a leap of faith to your happiness, all right? You will get there. Let's go into your expected timelines see what you can expect based off the current energy look we have another five at the bottom of the deck five of cups five 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 major changes and transformation all right tell me if they expect the timelines please for sure some of my venus expected timelines for sure, please some rising and venus what are the expected timelines looking like for Taurus, please the near future, sun rising and Venus. What can Taurus expect in the near future? Tell me the near future for Taurus, sun rising and Venus. Judgment in reverse. Oof. Accept the timelines for Taurus, please. Sun rising and Venus. Tell me if they accept the timelines for Taurus. Expected timelines for Taurus, Sun Rising, and okay, wow, damn, these cards really are flying. Five of Swords, five, 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 like all these fives. We have the Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Five of Five of Cups, and the Five of Wands. We have the Five of Wands too, didn't we? I think so. Did we? I don't remember. I know Aries had Five of Cups, but I don't know if you did. You guys? I don't remember. Whatever. A lot of fives in this reading. The Sun coming out again. Death in reverse and the hangman. Okay, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. We did have Pisces come through. We have Leo. We have um more Scorpio energy, fixed sign energy, some air, okay? So in your expected timelines, again with judgment being in reverse, I feel like you're just like not really taking chances or like especially past situations, you're nef you're not not nef I was gonna <laughs> I can't speak. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm probably going to stop after this video because I'm starting to get a little drained. I don't know if you can tell, but <laughs> my energy is starting to go like, boop, boom, like, goddamn. Anyways, I'm sorry, but I'm going to try and finish this reading best possible way I can. But with judgment being in reverse here, I just don't see that you're going to be taking much chances on people who kind of give you this type of energy, five of swords, kind of deceptive sneaky you know ego type energy very petty very just like mm, what's the word it just disappeared it just came to me and it disappeared so it's gone now so i guess that message is gone but it's just like you're not putting up with shit and any smell of bullshit you're going the other way you smell bullshit over there okay i'm going that way like right i'm moving towards my happiness nothing can stop me nothing can get in the way but it's almost as if you're trying to refuse something you're trying to avoid something you're trying to avoid some type of ending or some type of like decision perhaps because judgment's about making a decision or sudden changes right it's like almost as if you're trying to avoid something here and you're just trying to keep trying to just keep the blinders on and i'm just going to my happiness don't bother me i'm just going to my happiness like oh it's like you're trying to avoid something here i don't know what hangman over here Okay, so very stagnant energy. You need to look at something from a different perspective. We have the, the world and the two of pentacles in reverse. You have a decision to make, 100%. See, and you're kind of trying to avoid a decision. You're trying to just kind of stick it and be like, I'm going to just sit here and wait for this to close out. And like, no, you have a decision to make. And this decision to make that you're, you are you need to make that you've kind of been trying to avoid is going to lead to closure wrapping up a cycle, possibly maybe even a thinking habit or something to do with yourself or just it's going to lead to major changes. We keep having five, five, five show in this entire reading. Like there's so many fives that keep coming out. But there's a major decision you're going to have to make and 
it's going to help if you look at this situation or whatever you're going through, experiencing from a different perspective, or trying to open and broaden your mindset, or whatever, and that's going to help you make this decision to drop something that no longer resonates with you, or just no longer you need to carry or keep on your plate. And once you do that, you're going to be wrapping up a cycle, okay? So let's clarify judgment and look into this card. Tell me about judgment in reverse, please, for Taurus. Tell me about judgment in reverse for Taurus, summarizing Venus for the next seven... Oh, no, this is the expected timelines. My eyelashes are stuck together, oh my god. Tell me about the seven... Seven? I was going to say seven of swords. <sighs> okay. Um, there is no seven of swords out here. Sorry, your girl is tired. Tell me about judgment, please, for Taurus, Summon Rising Venus. For the next seven days. There we go. My goodness. Okay. Seven. See? I want to say seven of swords. <laughs> Tell me about judgment. In reverse, please, for Taurus. What the fuck, man? Can I just... Okay. Princess of Wands in reverse. Deck, she's not upside down. Tell me about judgment in reverse, please, for Taurus. Princess of Sword. Look at all these fucking princesses coming out. Four of Pentacles. Oh, God. It's almost like as if you're holding on to an old way of thinking or an old habit or some type of grudge or something. You're holding, you're clinging on to something. And it's like you need to have some type of awareness or realization. You need to cut something out. All right. You're looking over at this Princess of Wands in reverse. It's just like kind of bad energy, low vibe energy. And you need to cut this out. Whether this low vibe is coming from yourself or somebody you surround yourself with or somebody around you, maybe you're already currently with or whatever the fuck. But you're looking over at this Princess of Wands and you're like, I need to release this. But either you or somebody is holding on. Somebody is refusing to let something go or refusing to let something come to an end. Maybe you're trying to just like let go of like an old relationship or an old person or somebody you were once with and just like they are refusing to let you go for some reason and just like I'm trying to walk the fuck away and walk towards my happiness over here right but somebody's clinging the fuck on and refusing for something to close out so whether this is you or somebody you're dealing with somebody here needs to let this go and it's just like there's some type of avoidance energy. There's two different energies. Somebody here is just like, let me clear this shit out. And somebody here is just trying to ignore it and hold the fuck on. So you decide what resonates with you because I don't know who's who. This could be you. This could be your person or somebody you're dealing with. And we're kind of running out of time, so I'm going to speed this up. Can I have five of swords for Taurus for the near future? It's like you need to cut the cord or something. Five of Swords, please, for Taurus. Ten of Cups. Yeah, you're, you're moving towards your happiness. You're moving towards the sun. You're moving towards your Ten of Cups. Have the Five of Swords, please. Seven of Pentacles. No longer wanting to invest your time and energy into somebody, but somebody's. Oh! If you. Yeah. You've glowed up. You've changed. You've grown. You've learned, you've experienced, and it's just like, you're giving up on a situation. This is the same energy as the Nine of Wands in reverse. It's like you've taken back your energy, you're no longer investing into something, but yet somebody has clinging on to you, refusing to let you go, and just like, man, I'm just trying to live my best life. I'm trying to be happy elsewhere. I've grown up. I want my, or I'm looking for my empress, whatever, right? Either this is you or you're looking for somebody at this status. And you're trying to move away from whatever this is that won't come to an end. And it's just like, can this just fuck off already? I've taken my energy back. I'm no longer investing my time into this anymore. I'm letting this garden die. I'm walking away. But yet somebody's still trying to cling on. Just fuck off, man. Tell them to fuck off. <laughs> Tell them to fuck right off. Leave me the hell alone. Like, literally, block them. Cut them out. You do what you gotta do. Obviously, easier stuff. There's that nine of wands in reverse. You don't have the energy for this. That's exactly what I was just saying. That's so funny because it's at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> okay. But yeah, that's what the five of swords in reverse is about. You're, oh, is it in reverse? No, it's upright. It's upright. That's what the five of swords is about. You're trying to walk away from something, but yet somebody's refusing 
refusing to acknowledge the truth or see the truth in a situation. Whew, it's like, fuck off. That could be, what was the first spread about? Because we had the, it's so bad. I don't really even remember. I just know that the Ace of Cups was in reverse when I was clarifying. And it's like, okay, so clearly you didn't want something. It was a soul connection with the Six of Cups. I don't remember the rest. I don't remember the rest. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm tired. <laughs> oh, my God. I was trying to, like, you know, because, like, looking back at the other spread, it gives me more insight into this spread, right? Because, but I've kind of forgotten what the first spread was about. Just like that. That's what happens when you're fucking channeling messages. I don't remember shit. Death, we have the wheel in reverse. Somebody here is refusing change. There's a, something needs to be dropped. Somebody is refusing change. Whether this is you or... The, I, I don't think it's you, though. I think it's the person that you're trying to release yourself from. Somebody's refusing to accept the change. Somebody's clinging on. Somebody doesn't want the old to die. It's like, let it die. Stop beating a dead horse. Somebody here needs to stop beating the dead horse. Cross watcher. If that's you, let it go. There's something better anyways. Once you let it go, there will be something better for you or whoever this resonates for. But just like, move on. Let it go. Time to let it go. The worst is over. It's already ended. Like, just accept it. Move on. You got better things to do. You got bigger fish to fry. Let it go for whoever this is for. Please, like, <laughs> that's what it's like, let it go, come on, man. I need to wrap this reading up. Temperance, getting your balance back. This is for the sun, I didn't even specify. Time at the sun. The alchemist, see, you have better things to deal with. You're moving on to better things, and whoever this person is who won't let you go, I mean, they're the ones missing out on opportunities because they're clinging on to something for so their dear life but yeah whatever you're moving towards you're moving towards with confidence and you're just like fuck that i don't care let me go i'm going that way thanks adios i'm getting my balance back i'm healing the fuck like <laughs> i'm manifesting new opportunities and these opportunities are gonna be balanced and real fucking good something i deserve something i've worked so hard for and i'm gonna be happy whether this is whatever this is manifesting new opportunities relationships work money abundance success whatever it is you got it you can manifest that shit you can make that shit a reality but somebody here is just trying to prevent that from you trying to prevent change oh god that's so annoying well either way though you're moving somewhere else you're taking a leap of faith you're t yeah because we have the fool in the glass spread you're taking a leap of faith elsewhere and you're leaving whatever this person was behind and maybe this person that's clinging on to you is somebody who did some deceptive shit to you or something. I don't know. Whatever. Let's get some advice because this is getting long. Any advice for Taurus? Some advice for Venus. Any advice for Taurus, please? For this reading. Any advice for my Taurus? Ooh. King of Wands coming out. Any advice for Taurus, please? Six of Wands. Any advice for Taurus? The wheel. Hell yeah. Any advice for Taurus, please? Someone rising in Venus. The Princess of Cups. Okay. For some, you may actually have to communicate to whoever this person is who will not let you go. Some of you, you may have to just be straight up and be like, listen. And just lay it out on the table. Lay it out. Just be straight up. For some of you, you may just have to be straight the fuck up and be like, listen, I'm doing this. Please leave me alone. Like, <laughs> like, God, I mean, honestly, that may be what brings change. May let you go be free, right? So that's for some of you, okay? You'll know if that resonates for you. Obviously, do it if you want. Don't if you don't. I'm just saying that's what the cards are saying. For some, you need to focus on yourself. Focus on your career, your endeavors, and whatever that brings a lot of passion. Go after that shit. Make that a reality because I see it could be very, very successful. Take off a lot get a lot of attention from many different people you never know who may see your work your art your whatever you work on whatever brings a lot of passion to the table because the, who knows what's who's watching you they may there could be somebody big watching you or seeing your successes or seeing your whatever you work on or your business or whatever seeing your talent and then they, that could easily bring change you know you never know who's watching you. I don't know why, but they're telling me to keep from saying that. You never know who sees your work or sees your talent, sees your skills. And that could literally change everything, right? 
may have a new opportunity regarding love as well or somebody trying to express some emotion to you expression of feelings so be open to that or be open to you know taking things a little bit deeper than surface level if that's what you would like to do and um yeah for some you may need to tell this past person whoever's clinging the fuck on to you to just please let me go please let me be free Whew, but yeah whatever that's your reading Hopefully it makes sense. I don't even remember what half this shit was about. Because literally I'm so tired now. I don't even remember. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I hope it made sense. I hope it, may it resonated for some of you. Or like got some type of clarity. Insight on your situation. And I'm going to let you guys go. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.